Ah, cool. Somebody put Billy Joel on a jukebox. Billy Joel? This is Daft Punk. Daft Punk? I, what, what is that? What, what, that? That's not even words. What are you saying? This is Billy Joel. It's Anthony's song, parentheses, moving out. It's are exhausting. Hey, Cleveland, how'd you do that with your phone? I'm not an idiot. I use Shazam. It recognizes songs and tells you their names. Yeah? Hey, what if I fired it into it? I don't know. Be my guest. It says Lana Del Rey. Wow, how do I get this on my phone? You just download it. It's an app. What's an app? Their little program. Just drive me to the racket club. Since when do you belong to a racket club? You know, I do have a life outside this house. For example, I also write restaurant reviews for the newspaper under the name Hugh Cornwallis. Hugh Cornwallis? He's like... Super bitchy, I know. Now, come on, let's go. So what, you gonna play tennis all day? No, I might also hit the treadmill and watch Kelly and Michael on mute with closed captioning. Off. I'm already caught, Lois. I'm gonna finish. Peter, I'm... I'm gonna finish! Just go over there! We're gonna be fine, Lois, you and me. Well, there you are, Dad. Where have you been? I haven't seen you in days. Ugh, I went out of town for a little while, but I made the mistake of using this app called Bear B&B. &B. Where are you going? Oh, I'm meeting up with someone from my Grinder app. Isn't that for anonymous gay hookups? No, no, no. This one's a way for guys who enjoy sandwiches to connect. You meatball freak? Uh-huh. All right, let's do this. Dog and Meg the Bounty Hunter. Holy moly, Marcy Miller. She bought feminine products at my dad's pharmacy, so you know she's up and running. Yeah, I wish I had the guts to talk to her. Talk to her? At Club, where frail old men come to weigh themselves in the nude. Does that say 84 or 85? It says 63. Oh, dear. How'd you get all those cuts on your butt? Wow, they allow drinking here at 10.30 in the morning? Oh, yes, half the bathroom trash is thrown up scrambled eggs. Okay, so... Name of Rizzoli and Isles. You don't know what part I play, do you? Hey, look, you didn't marry me because of my brains. You married me because I play one of the main bad guys in Blue Bloods. Now let's just stop talking and have idiot actor sex. Thank you for coming, Mr. and Mrs. Griffin. We've got a bit of a situation, which is why I've asked Officer... Who made a bad choice? I don't know what to say, but the laws just haven't caught up to how cool kids are now. I'm sorry, but this makes Chris a sex offender. Oh, my God! Huh. Well, I'm not about to make a Batman exit right now, but has that thing always been over there? Over where? What are you doing, Peter? Ah, you look back too fast. You should just whip it out on the bus. Can't I just go on the news and tell everyone I'm sorry? Oh, I wish you could, sweetie, but the law says that as a sex offender, you have to complete a rehabilitation course. Oh, that sounds awful. Yeah, it can't be any worse than our trip to Hawaii. Okay, before you do anything else, I'm deathly allergic to pineapple, pork, rum, macadamia nuts. All right, before we begin, whoever's driving a windowless van painted like an ice cream truck, your lights are on. Okay, next, let's take a few minutes to talk about our new fake interests. Here's a clay pot I made. I've started following girls' field hockey. No, come on, you're supposed to pick from the list. M Mr. Quagmire, this is terrible, and... Oh, thanks, Dimitri. And, uh, your testicles hanging out of your shorts again. I am cooling it. But where is this partner of yours? I don't know, he was supposed to be here 15 minutes ago. <laughs> you're right. So anyway, my ex said, if you bring home one more tennis trophy, I am out of here. Well, she was gone in two days. <laughs> oh, Brian. Oh, Brian. There he is, Mr. Former Sex Offender. But Mom, it's not that big a deal. All I did was finish those creepy classes. I know, but now your record is clear. You can go back to being a normal boy and put all this behind you. Hey, Chris, wait till you see the funny thing I had him put on your cake. Happy sixth birthday, Timmy? Uh-oh, they must have mixed him up. Well, I'm glad we're finally getting some practice in. Yeah, nothing like running around after eating a seafood tower. What are you doing here? You're supposed to be at the baseline. Ah, baseline, baseline, right, right. He's serving to you. Get back there. <clears throat> you can't. I'm sorry, Chris, but you're just going to have to accept that from now on, people are going to see you as a sex-crazed pervert. And there's nothing you can do to change that. Wait a minute. Maybe there is. 
Thanks, Mr. Quagmire. No problem, Chris. You keep that chin up, huh? I will. Hey, can I ring your doorbell? No, I'd rather you... <coughs> That's why no, Chris. Has anyone seen my sandals? Yeah, no. Nobody's seen your sandals. Well, I'll just have to make another pair. Look, Chris, I know you think chemical castration is gonna solve your problems, but you have to stop taking those pills. Well, I don't have to do anything besides get to the wind chime store before it closes. There can't be a whole store. I don't I don't need to hear your process. Look, I'm just happy you pushed me, because now I can't wait for that tournament. I know, it's gonna be great. And I already know exactly where I'm gonna put that trophy. So the baby died? Yeah, the baby died. But look, first place. <laughs> Chris, your mother and I want you to stop taking them pills. Have time before he shaves one side of his head and swoops the rest of the hair over. Why, is that... is that bad? Good early evening, everyone. I have celebratory news. With all the free time, I'm no longer devoting to onanism. That's spanking it? Yes, Peter. I have managed to redirect that energy into my studies. In fact, today I received the Kaplan... Please take a plastic bag from the bagging area. Please put the bag over your head and tighten. Ha 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 ha. I told you I could make him do it. That's hardcore, man. You're hardcore. Warning, Mr. Griffin. Oh, you're warning me? I'm warning you! I'm gonna go to your house and f your wife! You proud of yourself? Tennis club security guard? Your kids look up to you? Big man throwing out a baby and a dog. Tough guy. Maybe I'll see you later when you don't have that name tag on. I thought your shot was in. Oh, hey, pound it, dude. Yeah, he took my phone to look at pictures of my friends, and he found the one you sent. I bet that caught him by surprise. Definitely. Well, I hope you know that's not who I am anymore. I do, and I hope I didn't cause you too much trouble. This is not a... 54 years. Well, at least she saw a little wang before taking that dirt nap. Thanks, you guys. I guess chemical castration isn't for everyone. Is, is that... Is that the lesson for this week? Uh, I guess it's that or be kinder on the tennis court. We now return to Star Trek Creep Space Nine. She saw us! Warp speed! Uh, hey, you guys, you know that song, Jimmy Crack Corn? Yeah, it's me and Lois's wedding song. Oliver Platt climbing a flight of stairs. Hey, that's a low blow. I'm gonna call the network and complain. Where's the phone? It's upstairs, Oliver. Yeah, they know what they did. Tell you what, Peter, I'll give you ten bucks if you drink an entire shot glass of that hot sauce. Let me see the money. Y you don't believe I have ten dollars? I think he's afraid. Am not. Prove it. Um. But now there is. Hi, I'm Peter Griffin, creator of The Yankin'. If you're anything like me, the number one problem in your life is that you can't masturbate just anywhere. But now you can. Introducing The Yankin', the only blanket with built-in decoy arms. Our patented process makes it look like you're holding the remote or sipping a beer. Meanwhile, your real hand owe me 20. Ew, here's 50. Go change your underwear. It won't come off. Hey, Peter, you want to earn another ten bucks? Of course I do. Great, I got a hilarious one. I'll give you ten dollars for your L4 vertebrae. So, uh... Hydrant, and you're gonna drink as much water from it as you can. Chris has Crohn's disease. Get down there. Don't, don't, don't tell us that now. I think this is how Anna Nicole Smith died. Don't make light of that. Oh, hey, Bri. Still sitting in chairs, huh? What'd your back ever do to you? I'm trying to watch. Know what I'm watching? My core. Your body and mind are supposed to be on the same team. <laughs> sitting on the hard floor is good for your back, too. Coming up, female high school teacher sleeps with her students. Is she hot? Anyway, these types of immature, drunken hijinks are destroying our town. And if we can't trust a 42-year-old man to drink responsibly, then I have no choice but to take action. So as mayor of Quahog, I hereby raise the town's legal drinking age to 50. What? I can't drink anymore? 
What am I gonna do? What are are feeling the effects of the city's new drinking law. I was going to bone my girlfriend, but she told me that if there wasn't vanilla vodka involved, there was no way. Well, I think we just have to trust our elected officials. And Goldman's Pharmacy is fully stocked on cough syrup, which goes great with ginger ale. Well, I do miss... There's no beer here. Let, 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 let's, just, let's just go. Peter, why'd you want me to get us into this prison? Because, Joe, everyone knows that all prisoners make bootleg wine in their toilet. We are gonna get so wasted. Oh, look, right here. This one's full of Chardonnay. Peter, I don't think that's... But it was Chardonnay. Rhode Island's a mess from top to bottom. I tell you guys, getting alcohol when you're underage isn't as easy as Obama's daughters make it look. What? Is that true? I don't know. Hey. Is that your dog at the bar? Hey, Jerome, one more. Neat. What the hell? Why is Jerome's... Hey, you. What are you doing? I like to watch. I want to watch you boil. I can't do it with you watching. Oh, not even if I do this? Don't do that. Oh, God, it's so hot. Oh, yeah? Then why don't I take your top off? Oh, oh, I'm boiling. I'm boiling. Yeah, now I'm going to stick my raw pasta in you. Peter, what's going on in there? Making dinner, baby. Hey, hey, Brian, Brian, how would you like to build build a deck right now with your buddy? Because we got hammers, the whole deal. I don't know, man. It's pretty dark out. That's okay. I'll just pull my car around and point the headlights at it. Do you know that my dad once called me a mistake? Yeah, I was just hanging out with my main man, Peter. Main man? Hanging out? Brian, he's only using you to buy alcohol. What? What is, what is that? What are, you, what are you talking about? It hasn't dawned on you that he only started spending time with you when the drinking age was raised? Come on, that's, that's not true. <laughs> ah, sure, I puked in the clean dishes shag. Drink. To drink? It's against the law for him to do that. Was Stewie in here? Was, was he in here? I, I smell his cologne. Listen to me, Brian. No more booze in this house. You're gonna get us all in trouble. Peter, we, maybe we should find someplace else to get, to drink. Yeah, I think you're right. Hi, we're here from the 80s FBI. Hey, did they move the bagels? Yeah, they're right there. Oh, my God, what the hell is that? This? This is a pointing bird. All right, I just saw a sprinkler come on, so I'm going to go bite at the water a little bit. Hey, what's going on here? Uh, some butthorns shining a flashlight on me? I meant prior to me coming up and investigating this. Oh, well, you gotta be clearer, man. I'm waiting. What are you in for? I bought some alcohol for someone I thought was my friend. How about you? I threw a bottle of rum through the window of the Apple Store. I couldn't remember me password. <sighs> this sucks. Oh, it's not so bad. Sometimes they let you take the good trash home if you ask nice. Last week, I got an old greeting card. You too, pig. Well, I'm not the smartest man in the world, but I can always look back on my life and say I went for it. Ugh, this seems like a weird place to even use a condom. Just shut up, Peter. I'm done with you. All right, you completely lied about why you were hanging out with me. What? I never lie. Well, except for that one time. I've been in this fight. Yeah, but what difference does it make? It's the law. Nothing we can do about it. The hell is not. I bet if we work together, we could find a way to change it back. I, I don't know, Peter. Come on, I know it seems hard, but we can't just give up. I mean, what if Thomas Edison had given up? Uh, what's that? W what's that thing you're working on? Well, it's a light bulb and... A light bulb! Light bulb! I... Get 4,000 signatures. And eh, screw that. We're going with plan B. Threaten to kill the mayor's nephew. I love you, Dad! Peter, that's your son. Shut up, Brian! He's hugging me! <laughs> So, what exactly is your plan here? You'll see. Just follow my lead. Ooh, trick or treat. Chip with one of the best guys I know. Adam, who's at the door? Oh, hi, Brian. Hi, Peter. Wait a minute. Is that... Is that wine? Yeah. Adam just poured me a little before dinner. Wow, you guys eat late. No, Peter, don't you see? Carol's underage, too. The mayor just broke his own law. Hmm, that's a good point. Oh, all right, I'll repeal it. But only if you send me and Carol a copy of that picture. We don't have a lot of the two of us together. Brian, we did it! We got him to change the law! Just goes to show, if anybody wants a law changed, they should just go to their mayor's house. Hey, I, uh... I, I appreciate what you said there about our friendship. 
Well, to be honest, Brian, at first... Just happy that you and Brian managed to get that law repealed and that you're finally friends again. Me too, Lois. Good to have my drinking buddy back. <laughs> Yay! Everybody's happy! I love this family! I draped that over him. He was just doing it out in the 